a scale of two centimeters to one unit on both axes. Draw the graph of y minus three equals to zero, comma y equals to six minus x, and x equals to five. Share the region which satisfies the inequalities. Y minus three is less or equal to zero. Y is greater than six minus x, and x is less or equal to five. So in the given question, we are told to draw the line y minus three is equal to zero, y is equal to six minus x, and x equals to five. And we are told to use a scale of two centimeters to one unit on both axes. Okay? So drawing these lines, you realize that in the first one, in our solution, we have y minus three, that's the first one, y minus three is equal to zero. This means that y is equal to what? Three. So this is the line that we'll be drawing. Then in the second one, we are told that y is equal to six minus x. This means that y plus x is equal to six, okay? So in this case, in the second one, we are going to find our x and y intercepts. So for x intercepts, put y is equal to what? zero. So for x intercept, we put y equals to what? Zero. Okay? So putting y equals to zero here, we shall have zero plus x is equal to six. X is equal to six. So we have x is six, y is zero. Then we also find our y intercept. So for y intercept, put x is equal to zero. So when x is zero, we have y plus zero is equal to six y is equal to six. So we have x is zero, y is what? Six. Remember, x coordinates before y coordinates. Then the last one is we have the line x is equal to what? Five, okay? So now let's draw this line on our OXY plane. And we are told two centimeters to one unit. Now our highest value of x, the highest value of x, the highest value of x is six, and then the highest value of y is also six. We have three here too, and then uh, five, okay? So if I have, let's say, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Now, do we have any negative values of y? Any negative values of y? Um, we have six, zero, zero, six. There are no negative values. So, we can bring our graph down here. Let's say to this point. So we make this our origin. Let's make this our origin. So let's draw our x and y axis with two centimeters to one unit on both axes. We have two centimeters to one unit on both axes. So we have our origin zero here. This is our origin zero. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we have negative one, negative two. This is negative one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have our y axis, and then we have our x axis. So we have two centimeters, to one unit on both axes, okay? So now, we are going to plot the point y is equal to three. So if this is the y axis, we are going to locate positive three and then draw the line y is equal to three. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to draw the line y equals to three. So this is the line y equals to three. We have the line y equals to three. Okay, so this is the line y equals to three. Now, we have the line y equals to three. And the inequality given was, y is what? We have y is, y minus three is less than zero. So if I have y minus three is less than zero, y minus three is, less or equal to zero. This means y is less or equal to three, okay? So since y is less than three, and we have y equals to three here, 
numbers less than three, which you can see here, we have two, one, zero, and we have four, five, six, seven, eight. These are numbers greater than three, and these are numbers less than three. So it means y is less than three, our solution lies below the line. So we indicate a small one here, meaning the whole of this line is going down. Okay? So this is y is less than 3. Now we shall go for the next line, which is x is 0, y is 6, which is this line, y is equal to 6 minus x. So we have x is 0, y is 6. x is 0, y is 6. So I mark it. x is 0, y is 6. And then we have when x is 6, y is 0. x is 6, y is 0. x is 6, y is 0. So this point. So with these two points, I draw my straight line. So I have the line. So this is the line y minus, or y is equal to 6 minus x. So I can write y plus x is equal to 6. So this is that line. Now we are going to test. Okay? You can see the origin is below. Okay? So I'll use the origin to test. So we have y plus x. The inequality given is y is greater than, so we have y is greater than 6 minus x. So this means that y plus x is greater or equal to 6. So we are going to test. So if I have y plus x is greater or equal to 6, I am going to use the origin to test whether this is below or above the line. Okay? So using the origin to test, 0, 0. So x is 0, y is 0. So 0 plus 0 is greater than 6. So 0 is greater than 6. Now, in real life, is 0 greater than 6? No. So this is a false statement, okay? So because it is false, and I use this to test, and it is false, it means my solution lies above. So I'm going to indicate that this line is going above the line. It's going above, so this is going above, and also this is going down. So already, I could see that these two lines are meeting here. Because the whole of this is going down, and this is going this way. So these two lines are meeting here. This is the region where they are meeting. Now, the last point I'm going to find is x is equal to 5. Okay, this is the last line I'm going to draw. x equals to 5. So I locate 5 on the x-axis. I have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 5. So this is the line x is equal to 5. So I draw the line x equals to 5 here. So drawing the line x equals to 5, we shall have a straight line. So this is our line x equals to 5. Okay? So we have x is equal to 5 here. Now the inequality given is x is less than 5. So it could either go this way or this way. And when you watch, if this is 5, numbers greater than 5 are 6 and 7. Those less than 5 are 4, 3, 2, 1. So in this case, our solution lies to the left of this line. Okay? So it means this line is going this way. This line is also going up. And this line is going down. So if you watch carefully, this is x is equal to 5. This is it. Okay? And this is where... They are all meeting because this is that line. So the region where the three lines are meeting, you could see that this is going downwards, this is going upwards, and then this is going this way. So the three, where they are meeting is this point. This is the region where all the lines are meeting. Okay? So we have the vertices here, one, two, three. And you could see that over here, this line is going up, Okay, and this one will cut it. Okay, this is going down. So already the two of them are meeting here. And then this is going this way. So all the three lines are meeting here. Okay, so this is the region that satisfies the inequality. Y minus 3 is less than 0. Y is greater than 6 minus X. And then X is less or equal to 5. So this is the region that satisfies this inequality. So with this, we are going to solve another example, one more example. And then with that, we are going to find um, how to get the maximum value or the minimum value, the value of x and y at which it occurs 
or to find the maximum or the minimum value. Okay. Okay. So let's pick another question. Elective mass.